Holy hell, Vikings injuries piling up. All right, welcome back to the One Bar and Lumpagus Show, and Merry freaking Christmas. It is Christmas morning. Hopefully, you're all opening wonderful, wonderful gifts, but unfortunately, it looks like the Vikings got themselves one lump of coal this morning. A lot of injuries, a lot of injury updates we'll be talking about before we do that. Remember, it's Christmas. Hit that sub button. Hit that like button. Let's go. Vikings coming off another heartbreaker loss to the Lions. Playoff uh, chances in limbo, and these injury concerns are uh, not going to help our chances. So let's do it. Let's talk about, let's talk about the big boy right now. DJ Wanham sounds like his season is over. Partially torn quad. Ouch. Uh, Wanham. The man, the man stepped up this year. Eight sacks, 62 total sackles, tackles. Uh, Marcus Davenport went out. DJ Wanham steps in and has had a damn good season. This is his last year of his contract, so he'll be looking to make some cash this offseason. Will it be the Vikings that throw him some cheddar? We will see. We know the Vikings. Daniel Hunter is going to be a free agent. Marcus Davenport, there's no way in hell we're bringing him back, which leaves us pretty much with like Patrick Jones, Andre Carter. So, uh, DJ Wanham, a guy that I have not overly been been high on, uh, could actually come back, and he's probably deserved to make some serious money this offseason. Still only 26 years old, but this is a killer. This is a killer. Patrick Jones, obviously, he's going to have to be the one that steps up. Maybe Andre Carter gets out there a little bit more, but uh, we got the Packers next week, and uh, DJ Wanham not being out there is going to hurt. Other injury news, uh, wide receiver Jordan Addison, Sprained ankle sounds like he is week to week. When I hear week to week, I think there's no way in hell he's playing next week. Again, a guy that we need out there against the Packers. We need as much offensive firepower as we can get, especially when we have a quarterback throwing 17 interceptions a game. Uh, we need somebody that can go catch the ball and uh, an ankle sprain for a wide receiver does not sound good for Jordan Addison. Last one, TJ Hawkinson. There's, there's, you're seeing multiple people saying that he tore his ACL and it could be even worse than that. I haven't seen anything official. It can't be good. They ruled him out almost immediately, which is never a good sign. And usually when stuff starts getting sprinkled out there that he tore his ACL, generally that's true. But until that actually is actual, comes from an actual source, I'm not going to get Debbie Downer on it. We will see. There's still a chance, but these injuries are insane. Every team in the NFL, has injuries this time of year. You start losing guys, but the guys that we have lost are so detrimental for us to even make any sort of push in the playoffs. But damn it, I still want the Vikings to make the playoffs. I still want them to beat the Packers. We almost beat the Lions this week with freaking Nick Mullins out there and all these guys off the field anyways. So we got to beat the Packers. We have to. We'll talk about the playoffs later, but we have to to beat the Packers at home. We have to, just for moral, just for moral, from a moral standpoint, we cannot let Green Bay beat us. So uh, those are the three big injuries. We'll keep tabs on TJ Hawkinson. We'll be back today. We don't care if it's Christmas or not. We're going to be talking about the quarterback situation. And hopefully, hopefully we're going to be talking about some news where the TJ Hawkinson injury is much, much better than anybody thought. Let us know what you think, how you're feeling. Merry Christmas to everybody. Like I said, we'll be back later.